Uh, hopefully you got all the things mentioned in the last video. You need a WordPress website, a Stripe account, and a Vimeo account. Don't worry too much about the Stripe account right now if you haven't set it up. We're not going to need it for the next couple of videos. In this video, I'm going to walk you through installing the WordPress Video Sync plugin and how to upload to Vimeo and then sync into your WordPress website. So the first thing we want to do is install the WP Video Sync plugin. You can download it here or right within your WordPress website. Once you have it, you want to go to Add New Plugin, Upload Plugin, and we're going to say Install Now, Activate it. You should now see a Videos menu on the left side, as well as a WP Video Sync option here. We're not going to do anything with this right now. We're going to go over to Vimeo. Make sure that you are signed into Vimeo. Then you want to go to the Upload button. You can select all of them at once if you want. Upload. Now you can see you can actually edit the titles and everything right here. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to say Episode 3, Episode can't type. <laughs> I have a uh, description here. I'm just going to paste in for these. You guys can type whatever you want. You notice there is a privacy setting on this video. I'm going to cover this later when we uh, set up the memberships and restricting the videos to our websites only. But for now, we're just going to let these upload. Once those videos have uploaded, you can actually go back to your WordPress admin area and you're going to go to the WP Video Sync tab on the left and you want to say get access token. You're going to be shown a page like this and again make sure you're signed into Vimeo. I'm going to say allow and this should redirect you to this page that looks like this. Copy this code and paste it in here in your WordPress admin and click save changes. Now you can go to sync videos and notice I have no videos synced yet so I'm going to say sync videos. Now it says 32 but that's because I already had videos before I uploaded those last three. So then you can go to your videos manager here and you'll see that all the videos that I have in Vimeo are now in my WordPress website. I'm going to delete this one because we don't need it for this demo. If you go into edit a video, you can scroll down and you'll see here is the preview of the video. You can also change the video if you need. You can say choose video and this will list all of your Vimeo videos. Get more videos and then you can make it whichever video you need. I'm going to leave that for now. Another thing that you should do after syncing your videos is go to Settings, Permalinks, and I recommend using the post name permalinks for any website. And then you want to click Save Changes. Now, even if this was already set, you still need to click Save Changes. This flushes the, the permalinks cache and it's needed to access your videos page. Right now, I'm using just a very basic WordPress theme, but if I go to my domain name backslash videos, you'll see that all my videos show up in a basic responsive layout. I can click on the videos and I can view them. Now, as you saw, the layout of the videos was a little bit basic. You probably want something a little nicer. So in the next video I'm going to go over installing the Netflix theme that was developed specifically for this plugin as well as creating categories and managing your videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.